Okay. Hello, Doctors Price, Archibald, and Gemmelman. This is Lucas Leone, and this is my uh, Iran project. I decided to do a my project on the music aspect of Iran, Iranian culture. And the thing like with Iran, uh, the terms Iranian and Persian are actually interchangeable. So uh, when I typed in like Iranian music, a lot of things came up and said Persian. So it's the same thing. It's just that Iran is the one that is commonly used, uh, at least by America. So uh, Iranian music is very different than like the music that we're used to, like in the United States or even uh, other English-speaking countries like Britain or st and stuff like that. But uh, the music that I want to do is more modern because I wanted to compare the music that we listen to right now compare that to the music that they're listening to, just modern Ira Iranian music to modern American music. So I found a few just random bands or different types of music that are kind of like music that we listen to now. This one, it had this, I don't know what the name of this band is, Nushifarin. So, and the name of the song is Nazanin e Ashi, something like that. Anyway. There's a lot of like similar instruments. Uh, they've got this is a music video, and they've got like the bongo drums, and then kind of just a woman singer, and uh, just a lot of percussion, a lot of percussion, and a lot of music that I found similar to like American, except that they're the bongo drums that they use are just weird, different shape. And we don't, obviously, we don't sound quite like this. Anyway, that's the first sound that I found. There's another one. It's more like Iranian techno. Because, I mean, in clubs, this is what would be playing in clubs over there. It's kind of like learning this similar, obviously, you can hear the, that that techno beat. Except that obviously this guy is not speaking um, English. So it's just a lot different. But this is like what would be popular there compared to here. I mean, if somebody played this in the United States, everyone would stop and just stare. So that's just a little bit of club music, or oh, Persian club music. Now this one, uh, is my personal favorite. It's called, uh, the band's called Santuri, and it's just, it's kind of like, uh, those little weird string harp instruments that you could hit with a mallet. You just hit little steel strings and hit a mallet. That is what the main instrument in here is, but this is an entire band, so they have like an acoustic guitar, a bass guitar, an electric guitar. And like I said, I played a female singer earlier. This is a male singer, so it's gonna sound, and he has a weird sounding voice too. Like nothing that I've ever heard from any kind of American singer. It's really haunting. It's like a certain type of, I'm pretty sure he's using like a certain type of microphone to kind of like filter his voice to make it sound like that. And I know that we use those, we use that kind of stuff all the time, but I've never heard of one that sounds quite like this. And of course with the, the singer is the one playing the little tapping the, the steel strings, that gives it a weird uh, sound. But it is a unique sound. And again, like with the song before, there's another techno beat. Except this one's a little bit more, I don't know, I guess rock, because they got, there, is an, there is an electric guitar at one point in here. But this video goes on for a while, so I'll stop it right here. And finally, I decided to pick uh, not my favorite type of music, but definitely a type of music that people around the world are familiar with, rap. And Iran's got it. So uh, this is just a little blurb of a Iranian rap song. I have no idea what they're saying. The name of the band is 
Sarabeze Irani. My best stab at it. It's rap. You can listen to that and it's playing the rap. But it's very, very unfamiliar, just very different. It sounds really weird to me. A little American rap sounds very different most of the time, too. But same kind of thing, they got more than one singer just rapping different verses, so... And they're rhyming. It's all in Persian or whatever language it would be, Kurdish, something like that. But it's all... And this seems to be a... Uh, this seems like a political kind of song, because there's a lot, they're flashing a lot of political things, so... Uh, like, same thing with the United States, they play a lot of, a lot of rap songs have uh, political stuff to it, so... Uh, there's that similarity. So that was just, you know, I didn't go into too much detail with like t instrument names, instruments, but it's just like it's very, Iran has very similar like genres of music, and yet it's completely different than ours. Completely different sound. With that little high string instrument, the way that they sound, um, just the rhyming, rhyme scheme of, uh, of their language. I mean, let's face it, our language is probably one of the hardest ones to rhyme, so this is probably not that hard, it's just that I just wanted to see how different types of music that we're familiar with sound over there. I mean, and you know that over there, like they listen to some of the music that we listen to here, they're thinking the same thing that we are, what is this? So it's just kind of interesting to me to think about how, and even not just Iran, any country, have certain like similar genres and yet they're complete they can be completely different like unlike anything we've heard in any other country so so I guess that is my video so have a good uh, have a good September <laughs>